This catastrophic home explosion captured on doorbell video was the deadliest nationwide in 2023, killing six people in the suburban neighborhood of Rustic Ridge, just east of Pittsburgh. Another horrific blast in Michigan destroyed a home outside of Detroit, killing four family members visiting from Alabama. And another person killed in a massive explosion in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania, that leveled a local inn. These are just some of the sudden devastating explosions that made 2023 the deadliest year since 2004 for gas-fed explosions, with 23 fatalities, more than four times higher than the year before. Rich Meyer is a fire explosion expert who's investigated over 500 fires and explosions involving both natural gas and propane. When you are determining the cause of one of these explosions, these massive explosions, how often is it natural gas, gas pipelines involved? Probably half or more. Aging infrastructure, old corroded gas pipelines are more likely to crack and leak, increasing the risk, he says, of gas migrating underground into people's homes and causing explosions. There are lines that have been in place for over 100 years and they are breaking. What is the state of our natural gas pipeline infrastructure in the United States? I would not give it an A, that's for sure. Uh, I'd probably give it a, a maybe a C, maybe a C minus. Besides aging infrastructure, other significant issues that can cause leaks that lead to explosions include construction work, where pipes can be damaged during digging and malfunctioning equipment. Malfunctioning equipment was the cause of a massive deadly explosion in 2016 in Silver Spring, Maryland at the Flower Branch Apartments. Five adults and two children died. Sometimes when I come out, I think I can smell it. Isidro Vargas will never forget the terror of that night. I saw people jumping from the building. It's been terrible, I can tell you. Investigators concluded a malfunctioning mercury regulator on a gas meter caused the deadly blast. And human error caused a massive explosion here just a few miles away in 2022 at the Friendly Garden Apartments, also in Silver Spring. A maintenance worker doing repairs accidentally cut a gas line instead of a water line. That one. Alex Jacquois lives at Friendly Garden. Boom. And then when I look up through the window, and then I saw the flame. It felt like a bomb. Yes. Jacquois's mother-in-law was hurt, suffering a broken ankle, along with 14 others injured, but miraculously, no one was killed. It's like a nightmare. Each time there's uh, an alarm, like smoke alarm, you, you know, you panic. The National Transportation Safety Board investigates major explosions that lead to fatalities, significant injury, and property loss. But not all explosions are required to be reported to the federal government, making it harder to determine patterns across the country, something investigators like Meyer say is a concern. Do you think we need to have a nationwide database that tracks these explosions? Uh, yes. The more information you have, the better armed you are when it comes to fixing the problem. Whatever the cause, a buildup of gas fumes in your home can be extremely dangerous. Meyer says it takes a very small amount of energy to trigger an explosion. Static electricity from walking across a carpet, even just flicking a light switch, can be enough to set off a blast. If you smell gas, get out immediately. Don't stop. Don't call 911 while you're still in the home. Leave the home. Take everybody with you. The pace of catastrophic explosions sadly continues this year with multiple deaths already. A firefighter killed in that blast that destroyed a home in Sterling, Virginia. Two children killed in a blast in Missouri and two more killed in another Pittsburgh area blast that left this hole in the ground where the home used to be, plus several more. If you use gas in your home, one way to protect yourself is to get an in-home gas detector. I got this one on Amazon for 20 bucks. All you do is plug it into the wall near a gas appliance. Then, if gas builds up, an alarm sounds warning you to get out. 
a small investment to potentially save lives. For Spotlight on America, I'm Angie Moreski.